This example shows how to use a sprite that I've got down here at the bottom and have it shoot bullets and hit other sprites that you've got on the screen. I'm going to assume that you're already somewhat familiar with how to use sprites and not spend a lot of detail on that, but instead concentrate on the bullet part. Alright, to begin with, we've just got our standard import statements. We define some colors. Then looking down, we've got three main classes. We've got one class. This represents the blocks that we're shooting. Not much going on with these blocks. They're simply colored in with whatever color we pass in, and they're 20 by 15. Next up, I've got the player block. This is a block that moves around on the bottom of the screen. Nothing new here either. I've got a init class that fills it in as red. Then with the update, I grab the mouse position and I set the X to the mouse position. We keep the Y the same. The player is only allowed to move along the bottom of the screen at a set Y position. The bullet, as you can see, there's not much new with the bullet either. The bullet, we set a 4x10 sprite block. We fill it with black. And every time we do an update, I subtract 5 from Y. That will move the bullet up when I call update on the all sprites list. In this case, I've got the bullets traveling upwards as the programs run. Okay, everything here is pretty standard. I initialize create the window and I create three lists of sprites. One list for every sprite, one list for the blocks that I'm shooting, and one list for the bullets because I need to keep track of each bullet and I need to do that separately. Here in this example I'm creating 50 blocks. The blocks are set to blue. I just do a random on the screen width and random up and down 350 add them to the block list and the all sprites list. Down here I create the player, add it to the all sprites list. Then the rest of this is standard initialization stuff. Two new key parts when working with bullets. Right here on the mouse down. As soon as the user clicks mouse down I go ahead and create a brand new instance of bullet. So I've got the bullet constructor here. I create a brand new instance. I set a new variable called bullet to it. I set the bullets X and Y position equal to the players X and Y position. You may need to do like a plus or a minus over here like plus 10, minus 10 depending upon exactly how the bullet is shaped and how the player is shaped because in this case the bullets upper left corner is going to be the same place as the players upper left corner that might not be what you want but you can adjust that by plus or minusing right here then once the bullets created I add it to the all sprites list and the bullet list pretty simple create the bullet set its location add it to the all sprites list when the mouse button down happens you could also have that be like for a space bar instead if you want to shoot that way. The bullets automatically, if you'll remember from up here, whenever I update sprites will travel upwards. Then when the bullets actually hit something, all of that magic is happens right here in this code. For every bullet that I have in the bullet list, so this loops through every time I've got a whole list of bullets that's going here, and each one of those is stored inside a bullet variable for each time through. I then check to see does the bullet actually manage to contact any one of the blocks. So I look for this bullet to this block list. If there's a collision, then the ones that collide go into block hit list. I might end up actually hitting multiple blocks at the same exact time. If I do hit a block, I remove the bullet, otherwise the bullet would just stay in existence. If you wanted the bullets to be able to shoot through things, and perhaps you would want to do that. But in this case, I want the bullet to disappear when it hits a block. I remove the bullet from the all sprites list and from the bullet list. I add one to score and I print score. Granted, when I print it, it's not going to print it on the window itself. It's just in the console screen. You can do something fancier. If the bullet flies off the screen, that is the bullet's Y is less than 10, then I want to remove the bullet and remove it from the all sprites list. Otherwise, when the bullets fly off the screen, 
the program will still keep track of them even if they're at negative 1000 negative 10,000 I'll still keep track of it and eventually the bullets will cause the program to run so slow because it's tracking so many bullets that it just plain doesn't need to so I loop through for each bullet I see if the bullet hits a block for each block it hits I do this and also I check to see if the bullet is off the screen I'll remove it in that case too those are the main things that are new. The rest of this, just simply I draw all the sprites and then I flip the screen. Not terribly anything too new there. And that's how you work with bullets with Python and Pygame.